Hello and welcome to another episode of SPFL Extra. This week from a rather chilly Stenhouse Muir. It's our Football Fails episode today, but uh, I've been dragged in last minute to present this because Doug and Connor failed to show up for work. On this week's show, find out why Billy Reid was left adjusting his tie. New heart signing Juan Ma's new dance move. And what happened to this unfortunate steward. The theme of our episode this week is inspired by a video you may have seen doing the rounds on social media recently. It's of Greek second division player Leonardo Kutras being stretched off after suffering a rather painful injury during a game. And the medic trips and drops the stretcher more than once. And it's just a bit of a disaster really. So we decided to do an episode on football fails and we were in luck because almost exactly the same thing happened at Hamilton in their game against Dundee this week. It turned out to be the perfect week to do a football fail special in fact. Not only did it happen at Hamilton, but it also happened at Motherwell. This is one instance where you really don't want to be wearing high vis. Dundee are making more than one appearance in our rundown of the top football fails in Scottish football. And this one goes from the sublime to the ridiculous. Fantastic shot, hits off the post, and then the referee just can't get out of the way. Jambos fans, look away now for this next one. Juan Ma has been setting Tynecastle alight with his goals this season, but maybe he's getting a little bit too ahead of himself. Here he tries to inject some Spanish flair into Scottish football. We all know the feeling when your team scores an amazing goal. You jump up, you run around, you lose yourself. Billy Reid in this next clip loses more than that. He loses his balance and he loses half the dugout. I've got Pajay with Jack. Down to Salim. I said, we have been cooshing at a gala. You may have seen Celtic fan Liam, who went to Norway a week early for his club's Europa League tie against Mulder. You patching you need today then? No, mate, flying to Norway. Need to get everything ready. What? Why? Mulder game, you muppet. <laughs> Games next week, pal. No, Fenerbahce was two weeks ago. They're every two weeks. Check the date on your ticket. No, this isn't okay. And also don't forget to comment below with your favourite football fails from Scottish football. We'll read out the best next week. So last week we asked you guys who you think should be in the Scotland team for the 28 World Cup qualifiers. And everyone loves playing being a football manager, everyone thinks they can do a better job. So we had loads of comments. Blue Nose X1 tried to make a team solely of players from the SPFL and it's not a bad squad actually, there's a lot of talent in there. The only player from the current setup that he's kept in is Captain Scott Brown, although not everyone agrees with that. Scott Christie thinks that a fit Charlie Mulgrew could be a better option in midfield. One of the major talking points in the comments was whether or not Lee Griffiths deserves a starting place in the Scotland team. Logan HD thinks he does and seems to have put him up there by himself, whereas Monster Cat Exclusive makes the case for Jordan Rhodes, possibly one in the future. Also a lot of love for Dundee goalkeeper Scott Bain with the Buzz Eagle saying that he maybe should step in for Marshall and also possibly Greg Stewart on the bench, maybe a Dundee fan, the Buzz Eagle. So that's all we've got time for today. Remember, SPFL Extra is the Scottish football show that's all about your views. So get involved in the chat and tell us what you think. Remember, next week we want to hear your favourite fails from Scottish football. And in the meantime, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's all at SPFL. Until next time. <laughs>